It could be September before this appeals process wraps up, and Meredith were not expecting a verdict before the autumn. All right, Keith Miller, thank you very much. Joe Takapina is a noted criminal defense attorney here in New York, also has a practice in Italy. Joe, good morning to you. Good morning, Mary. As Keith just pointed out, the prosecution's case relied heavily on that DNA evidence. If it is thrown out, what happens to the case? It, it, the case should be thrown out as well. I mean, look, there would not be enough evidence to indict Amanda Knox if this happened in America, let alone convict her. Um, the DNA evidence in this case is coming under fierce challenge. Um, I've spoken to a few people, in, one in law enforcement in Italy over the weekend, who actually believe that um, the findings will support the innocence of Amanda Knox. And it's something that many people have thought for a long time. Uh, what was factually correct. Yeah, the appeals judge is also allowing for testimony from new witnesses, including these five inmates. What do we know about them and what they have to say? Well, you know, you always have to be skeptical of inmate testimony, so to speak. I mean, are there motives, whatnot. But most of the times, the inmates are testifying for the prosecution to curry favor, to get a break, to get out of jail early. Here, it's odd they're testifying for the defense. Some of them are going to say they know who the real murderer is. It's not uh, Amanda Knox. It's not uh, Rudy Gaudet, who was convicted. It's someone else. There was a some other motive or whatnot. Some will say that Rudy Gaudet, the sole um, perpetrator whose DNA was all over the crime scene, um, admitted doing it and doing it alone, that Amanda Knox and uh, Solicito had absolutely no involvement in this thing. It should be pretty daunting uh, testimony. Yeah. Um, Amanda Knox had that emotional appeal to the judge over the weekend. Will that have any impact, do you think? You know, I don't think so. Um, it's not worked before. As a matter of fact, I think, quite frankly, the attention, press attention on this case has gotten in the way of justice a little bit. I, I, I believe that when the Italian justice system came under heavy attack by our media, for the most part, um, they really s sort of had this bunker mentality and, and tried to verify and validate their findings. Um, and so I don't think any, any emotional pitch from an appellate court is going to work. But look, she's a 23-year-old girl who spent the last three and a half years in jail for something I don't believe she did. Yeah, well, public opinion uh, was a factor in the, in the original trial. Right. A lot of Italians felt that their entire justice system was on trial. It got very heated. Do you expect the same thing here? Well, surprisingly enough, there has been a groundswell of support for um, this appeal. Uh, in Italy, which is important, it but really you wouldn't is. expect. You wouldn't expect, but I think enough, you know, cracks in the in the armor are, are starting to unfold in the prosecution's case. I think enough people believe that this girl and her boyfriend, Solicito, might actually be innocent. And having spent three and a half years in jail, there's enough evidence coming out that they really had nothing to do with this. And finally, separate from this case, uh, Amanda Knox and her parents have also been accused of uh, slander for. Um, suggesting that the police uh, roughed her up mm. during the initial questioning. Where does that stand? You know, I mean, that's an open Sorry. charge. I mean, only in Italy. Um, but, but basically part of her defense was that her quote-unquote confessions, which weren't really confessions at all, were beaten out of her. And because she said that, they claim uh, that's a slanderous uh, statement and therefore she's under new charges. Um, uh, you know, I think that will rise and fall with the appeal in the initial case. So if she wins on appeal, you think that'll be dropped? I, I think that's all going to go away. All right, Joe Takapino, thank you so Thanks, much. Mary.